How to Lower Cholesterol Naturally Did you know that your risk of a heart attack drops by 20-30% to 30 for every 10% drop in your cholesterol level? Another good thing is that most of us can lower our cholesterol levels quickly and without pills. These simple changes can have a big impact on your lives. Want to know how? Let's get into it. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any of our amazing videos. If your cholesterol is going up, your doctor has probably told you that diet and exercise could help to lower it. And if you only want to make one change to lower your cholesterol naturally, you might want to start with what you eat. So let's get started. Number 1. Focus on fats that are not saturated. The way your body uses unsaturated fats is different from how it uses saturated fats because they have at least one double chemical bond. Some people say that a low-fat diet is the best way to lose weight, but research is mixed on how well it works to control blood cholesterol. Researchers were worried that low-fat diets could have two possible bad effects. One is lowering HDL cholesterol, which is also known as good cholesterol. The second is raising triglyceride levels. So the researchers concluded that a low-fat diet might not cause a drop in cholesterol levels, and it's not good for heart health. Instead, you should opt for unsaturated fats. This way, you can effectively decrease your cholesterol levels. Overall, monounsaturated fats are good for your health because they lower bad LDL cholesterol, raise good HDL cholesterol, and slow down oxidation, which is bad for your body. Number 2. Eat a healthy diet. Cholesterol is found in a lot of different foods. There are foods that we eat daily without knowing that they are full of cholesterol. Take eggs, for example. Eggs are rich in cholesterol. But here's an important thing for you to know. Several studies have shown that the cholesterol a person gets from food doesn't really make their blood cholesterol go up that much. Instead, eating a balanced diet is what matters. Most people don't have a direct link between how much cholesterol they eat and how much cholesterol they have in their blood, so they don't have to avoid foods that contain cholesterol. Most people should instead try to eat a well-balanced diet that is low in saturated and trans fats. But for some people, the amount of cholesterol they eat does have an important effect on their serum levels, so they should watch how much cholesterol they eat from food. Number 3. Burn some calories. Exercise is good for your heart in two ways. Not only does it improve fitness and help fight obesity, but it also lowers bad LDL cholesterol and raises good HDL cholesterol. It's enough to do 150 minutes of moderate aerobic exercise a week to lower cholesterol. Even low-intensity exercise, like walking, raises HDL, but the benefit goes up if you work out longer and harder. Number 4. Quit Smoking Several things about smoking make it more likely that you will get heart disease. People who smoke can't get cholesterol from the walls of their blood vessels back into their blood. This damage is caused by the tar in tobacco. So, it's easier for smokers to get clogged arteries. Cigarettes have a chemical called acrolein that is harmful and can be taken into the bloodstream through the lungs. Scientists think that it changes how HDL in the body moves cholesterol around and raises LDL levels, both of which can lead to heart disease. Giving up smoking can help reverse some of these bad effects. Number 5. Alcohol is not friendly. One of the biggest health debates going on right now is whether or not alcohol protects the heart. Some research shows that if you drink alcohol in moderation, it can raise your good HDL cholesterol and lower your risk of getting a heart attack. However, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention does not recommend drinking wine or any other alcoholic drink to lower your cholesterol or make your heart healthier. They say that there is no good research that shows a link between alcohol and a healthier heart. According to the CDC, even small amounts of alcohol are bad for your heart health. Even though it is still not clear if alcohol can lower the risk of heart disease, everyone agrees that too much alcohol is bad for the liver and increases the risk of becoming dependent on it. Well, these steps are secondary. Diet, more than anything, could be the only effective way to lower cholesterol naturally and quickly. 
So here are the simple tips you can use to retain a healthy level of cholesterol in your body. 1. Every day, eat oats or beans. Try to eat at least two-thirds of a cup of oats and half a cup of beans every day, as they are two of the best foods for lowering cholesterol. 2. Add ground flaxseed to your breakfast. Ground flax seeds are another powerful food for lowering cholesterol. Try to eat one tablespoon of them every day by adding them to cereal, smoothies, pancakes, or other foods like curries. 3. Take off the cooked meat, skin, and fat. Your cholesterol can be raised by skin and fat from cooked meats, so it's best to take them off when you can. 4. Eat apples, almonds, and walnuts as a snack. Apples, almonds, and walnuts all work to lower cholesterol. So if you eat them as snacks every day, your cholesterol will go down. 5. Eat foods with low saturated fats. Your cholesterol levels will improve a lot if you cut down on the amount of saturated fat you eat. Try to eat mostly foods with less than 2 grams of saturated fat per 100 grams. 6. Instead of mayo on sandwiches, use hummus. Chickpeas, which are used to make hummus, are a great food to lower cholesterol. Find one you like and use it instead of mayonnaise on your sandwiches. You could also make hummus at home. 7. Switch from whole milk to semi-skimmed milk. Whole milk has almost 2 grams of saturated fat per 100 gram serving, but semi-skimmed milk only has 1 gram. So switching to semi-skimmed milk will help lower your cholesterol. 8. Eat bread and pasta with whole grains. Wholemeal bread and pasta have dietary fiber in them, which helps lower cholesterol and keeps you full for longer. 9. Sprinkle seeds on salads and vegetables. Seeds are full of healthy fats and fiber that can help lower cholesterol. So adding them to salads and vegetables can do a lot for the health of your heart. 10. Fry and roast with olive oil. Olive oil has monounsaturated fats that are good for your heart. These fats can raise your good cholesterol and reduce the inflammation caused by bad cholesterol. 11. Drink plant sterol or stanol yogurt drinks. Research has shown that if you drink one of these every day, your cholesterol will go down a lot in just one week. In fact, if you drink Benicol yogurt every night after dinner for one week, I'm sure your cholesterol will go down. They aren't good for women who are pregnant or breastfeeding, as well as for kids under five, and they might not be good for people who take cholesterol-lowering drugs. Before using any Benicol products, it's best to talk to your doctor to make sure they're right for your needs. We hope you liked the video. If so, hit the like button and share it with your loved ones. If you have any questions or comments, let us know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more of our amazing videos. You can also watch our other videos suggested just for you. See you in the next video.